God gives beauty for ashes. Isaiah 61 verses 1 through 4. The Spirit of the Lord God is upon me because the Lord has anointed me to preach good tidings to the poor. He has sent me to heal the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty to the captives and the opening of the prison to those who are bound, to proclaim the acceptable year of the Lord and the day of vengeance of our God, to comfort all who mourn, to console those who mourn in Zion, to give them beauty for ashes, the oil of joy for mourning, the garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness, that they may be called trees of righteousness, the planting of the Lord, that he may be glorified. And they shall rebuild old ruins, they shall raise up the former desolations, and they shall repair the ruined cities, the desolations of many generations. And so as we talk about coming back strong, rising up from the ashes, rising up from uh, whatever has put us down, we must understand that the Spirit of God gives us beauty for ashes. So ashes portrays a picture of something that has been burnt down completely. It is, it is totally destroyed. So imagine a home that is burned down because of fire or something else that just burned down and all you have is a burnt out remains. There is no resemblance of the, grand, the grandeur or whatever was there prior to it. It's all been burned to the ground. All you've got is destruction. All you've got is ashes. And yet here, because of the Spirit of the Lord, this whole place that is in ashes comes into a place of beauty. It is rebuilt. The old ruins are, are rebuilt. It is re-established and something beautiful comes into place. You know, in our lives, uh, many times, we, we, uh, we see that uh, people can experience such things that actually reduces uh, areas of life and sometimes even their entire life into ashes. Uh, we see people around us who go through struggles. Uh, sometimes it's a financial breakdown, a collapse financially. Sometimes it's uh, a breakdown of relationships, home, marriage, family. Uh, it could be other things, the loss of a loved one and so on, that really reduces a person to ashes. If not their entire life, a certain part of their life just comes down as a burnt down by fire. What do we do? We need to understand that we can come back strong. We need to understand that we can get back on our feet and rise up once again because of the Spirit of God. Because God gives beauty for ashes. That means in that same area where we have been destroyed and a ruin has taken place and things have been burned down, God can bring beauty in there. Now, how is God going to do it? We may not be able to figure it out and we don't need to be able to figure it out. All we need to do is to trust in what the Holy Spirit can do. Go to God and say, God, this area of my life is right now in ashes. It's been brought down to ruins. But by your spirit, you can cause it to become beautiful once again. You can give me beauty for ashes. And I believe God will do it. Let's pray. Father, we ask that if there are areas in our lives that have been burnt down, that have been ruined, I pray that by the power of the Holy Spirit, that it will be beautified once again. Let your glory be displayed in those very areas, O oh God. Rebuild, restore, and bring about your glory, your beauty. Establish it in our lives, we pray. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.